The Mazer robot is used as a way to try to give better accuracy in doing surgery by taking some of the most difficult parts of the surgery directly out of the surgeon's hands. And the most difficult part is placing the pedicle screws in the spine. Carly has the neural fibromatosis that makes her bones a little smaller and more brittle. Um, she has uh, some neural fibromas along her spine, so that made it quite tricky for him. The problem is, is that for adults and for normal sized kids, it's rather easy to put the screws in. But for uh, smaller children or children with terrible back deformities, it's technically quite, quite difficult to do it very safely. And, and for Carly, especially for her, it was a, a necessary thing to have for her. The Mesa robot attaches to Carly's back and it's got a robotic arm that precisely localizes where you would go with the drill bit to place the screws, which I use to anchor the rods into place. Uh, and that's something which is typically done either just by service landmarks and looking at it, uh, or you use an x-ray machine. But this actually uses a CAT scan, which you've gotten before, uh, and by, by entering the data into the computer from the CAT scan, you can project what size screw you can place into the bone, what angle to put it in, and how far to go. And not only can you see this, but you can actually execute that plan with less than four tenths of a millimeter of accuracy. The accuracy was really the number one thing. You know, there's less radiation and things like that. There were no secrets, there was no questions. We were scared for Carly, but we weren't scared for the outcome. You know, we were nervous for her, but we knew the outcome would be great. This is going to become state of the art. This is going to be the gold standard by which future surgeries are going to be done. This does make Florida Hospital the premier place for spine surgery for children with difficult spine deformities. So this is what marks our hospital as being one of the leading children's hospitals in the state or the southeast.